I am Dr. Muhammad Mudassar Ghaffour, Director of the University of the Punjab JLM Campus. I have done my PhD in Management Sciences from University of Dundee, Scotland. I have more than 45 national and international research publications. In addition to, I have presented the country of Pakistan in different developed countries like United States of America, United Kingdom, Switzerland, France and Malaysia. Here, I will teach you the subject Occupational Health and Safety. Occupational Health and Safety topics has a lot of further subsections and subtopics which includes in the subject module. The introduction of the subject is historical perspective, safety perspective and most important things theories which were developed regarding the subject and the most important part of this chapter which I will discuss later on is that accidents and the reasons why accidents took place in organizational at work environment. Let's start from very first topic is historical perspective and overview of safety and health movement. If we see before 60 years there were a lot of accidents were took place in organizations work setting. But now the half of particular this top of accidents have been totally stopped in the work setting of organizations. In 1907, 3200 employees were killed in mining accident. It means that if we see the historical perspective before 100 and 200 years back, there were a lot of accidents took place in organizations. But now the setup has been changed. Organizations have been improved dramatically and drastically. The most important things which is that the ruler which were working in those countries have also given lot of importance to the workplace setting. How organizations should improve the work setting, how organizations should work in the favor of organization and most importantly if we see the Romans, Romans played very vital role in developing bridges, hospital, infrastructure, roads, transportations and ventilated houses. After that, if we see the historical perspective in 18th century, saw the contributions of Bernardino, it is basically the historical perspective how they discourse the diseases of the worker. Rasmino drew conclusive parallel between disease suffered by workers and their occupations. You know, if some employee is working in organizations and the environment of the organizations is not hygienic or not the healthy for the employee. For example, they are working in any furnace. Furnace basically perform their duty regarding particular melting of iron and definitely the heat is very high over there. It is not good for the employee's health and their body temperature. Definitely workers and their occupations will be suffered due to this particular environment. Definitely they need some protective mechanism, they need some particular dresses which they have to wear while working in that particular environment. So his development before the industrial revolution took place. Milestone in the safety movement. During industrial revolutions, public pressure eventually forced a government response. Here in these slides I have also discussed in 1802, before 1802, the government was not too much involved in working environment of the organization. But after 1802, government passed some legislation regarding working environment. And government also gave lot of directions to the employees of organizations how they have to improve their work settings. It marked the beginning of governmental involvement in workplace safety. After the involvement of government, workplace safety improved better. We, the most important part of this particular slide is that the involvement of government is very essential for the improvement of workplace setting. If we see the historical perspective in 19,000, AISWE, AISWE stands for Association of Iron and Safety Electrical Engineering. It basically pressed a national conference regarding safety in United States of America. Before that, in 19,000, no persons took initiatives how the safety of the employees will be improved. But later on, if we see, in 1912, a conference was 
established a conference was held in cooperative safety congress took place in milwaukee united states of america in 1912 in this conference lot of papers were presented and lot of social scientists took participation in that conference and they gave rigor and solid evidence based studies how the work setting can be improved in an organization this was the major milestone in the history of united states of america one of the most important development in the history of united states of america occurred in 1908 when an early work of workers compensation was introduced in united states of america it was regarding how the compensations of the employees should be paid to the employee how the compensations can be enhanced in the better way of the employees and how compensations will be benefited in organization and workplace settings this was the major milestone in the history of employees movement if we see the historical perspective and overview of safety and health movement it was started from 1867 1867 massachusetts introduced factory inspection massachusetts is basically a state in united states of america where two major universities of the world exist number 1 harvard university and second mit university massachusetts introduces factory inspection first time in the history of mankind in 1867 and after that this process for the development safety measurement was continuously started and later on in 1867 patent is awarded for the first barrier safeguard 1869 Pennsylvania passes law regarding employees health and movement liability laws was passed in 1877 and this process started and now it is working 2021 in last two basically if we see in last two centuries lot of historical development took place in united states of america we are studying this subject in the context of pakistan so in later stages we will also discuss Pakistani labor laws Pakistani health and safety movement laws how Pakistani workers are being governed in organizations and how the employees are being paid their compensation and in 1936 national silicosis conference convened by united states of america for regarding labor purely the purpose of conference was how to establish well being of work at home the purpose soul of this organization's conference was how employees health or well being can be improved how employees can be motivated in organizations how employees can be satisfied regarding their job in organizations and this process was not stopped in 1900 or 19000 it was also continues into up to 2021 and after that in 2000s major contributions it is considered in the history of mankind United States of America firms began to pursue ISO International Standardization of Organization 14000 registration for environmental safety management environmental safety is a very essential component of organization without this particular things you can't say that how organizations can be improved in 2007 safety of older people re-entering the workplace becomes an issue as we see the 2007 safety of older people we know in organization the employees whose age is above 18 or maximum 60 you know it is the retirement age and in some organization this age is 65 year here the safety of older people re-entering the workplace becomes an issue we have to deal with the medical checkup medical facilities we have to purposefully work on the employees health being regarding issues if we will not give a special concentration to our employee a consideration to our employee then those employee will be fed up from our organization and last point 2010 of the job safety becomes an issue in organization there is on job and off job but whenever we talk about on job it means that the employees who are working in the organizations whether they are providing all the facilities which are required for the well being of the work or not if the employees are provided the facilities it means that on job facilities are provided in the organization 
and whenever we talk about off job facilities it means that the employees who are working in the organizations their facilities is also provided to them when they are not on their job when they are at their home it is known as work life balance there must be balance between work and life of the employees if there is no balance between work and life that employee will not feel good for the betterment of the organization इसी तरह ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर वर्क प्लेस सेटिंग के अंदर हमने ये चीज़ें डिफाइन करनी है कि किस तरह एम्प्लॉज़ की जो हेल्थ है और सेफ्टी जो है उसके मैार को मुनासिब तरीके से इंश्योर किया जा सकता है